I'm not screaming at anybody. No, 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 wait, hold on. Did you, you don't want to hear? Or no, you, you okay. two important? Make it quick. Well, I'm a Christian. I go to church. Yeah, you know, I, I, I go. My pastor's David Jesus. But to sit out here and, and crucify these people, don't bring them to God. Everyone you're screaming at, bro, think about it. I'm not screaming at preaching, sir. No, you're not preaching. You're screaming. That's a difference. Read the Bible. The Bible says the Bible. If you read the Bible, hold on, wait, tell the one thing. If you read the Bible, it says you give people to the common you walk, not to some here. It says go into the world and preach the gospel. It's true. It's true. What is the gospel? The gospel is the way sin is dead. It's true. 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 It well, what is it that the Bible says? Why is the Bible a threat here in America? Why is the Bible such a threat that our schools have banned the Bible out of all their learning and all their education? Why? Why the Bible? Why is it a threat? Why is it that our courts are getting the Ten Commandments out of our, out of our courthouses? Why is it that Christianity is such a threat in our day? I'll tell you why. It's because the Bible contains the words of life. And the Bible contains the truth, which sets America free. But America is not free. America is enslaved and in bondage. We're enslaved to our lies and our, our theft. We're enslaved to lust. How many people in this very city do you think are living together and they're not even married? How many adulterers and fornicators are there in this very city? If I were to stand here and just preach it all, and all I did was, was open up my ears, and all I did was listen to what people say, how many times do you think I would hear the name of Jesus being blasphemed? Well, the Bible says the wage of sin is death, and if you live in sin, all you're going to do is you're going to die. You have nothing to hope for but death if you go on in rebellion against God. If you go on in sin, and you go the way of sin and death, you have nothing to hope for except for death. Life is like a two-way street. You got one direction and you got the other direction. One direction leads to life, and that's through repentance. And that direction that leads to life is only through Jesus Christ. Not Mohammed, not Buddha, not Hare Krishna, not anybody except for Jesus Christ. But you got the other direction, and that other direction leads to death. All you have to do is sin against God. All you have to do is disobey the Bible. And you go the way of sin that leads to death and you get to die. And so God says, I put before you life, I put before you death. Therefore, choose life. And you got people smoking cigars and out here drinking uh, their beer and smoking their cigarettes. You got, you got women, I didn't tell you why, you got women out here barely dressed. The women in this country dress like the prostitutes do in foreign countries. Some of the way that these women dress is nothing less than being whore. Whoring your body around, prostituting yourself for all men to see. And so you have two options. You go the way of life or you go the way of death. What's your point? What's your point? What's my point? My point is this. You're judging me. What does the Bible say? Do not judge. No, that's not what it says. What does that mean? It means God is against hypocritical judgment. If I came out here and smoked my cigars and then pointed a finger at you and said, Why do you, you smoke are cigars? Pointing finger at me. But, and but, you're judging me. But I don't smoke. The okay. Bible is against hypocritical and judgment. You're judging me. It says, When you are judge, judge righteously. And, you're judging and according you're to God's cigar. standard, according to God's standard, you're killing yourself. And Not only you killing you know yourself, what? little you're kids, God. little kids that walk these streets. The same sin that he's doing, your sin is no better. There's all sin in God's eyes is equal. All sin departs you from God, so that's right. You're sinning because you're pushing your beliefs on somebody. I'm not. I'm the blame word of God. If you don't like it, you can leave like they are. Hey, if you don't like it, you can leave. This is public property. I'm just as much right here as you, so you can leave. I'm not forcing you. Yeah, you are. When you stand up here, you can leave. I can leave if I want it. But I can leave if I want it. I will stay here if I want it. So, back to, the so but back to the point. The point is, you're up here hypocritically yelling at people. How are these people going to get saved? 
You know how they're going to get saved? It ain't going to be you up here screaming at them. It's going to be, it's going to be the cross, the TV that they see you walk instead of standing up here saying, Hey, y'all fucking idiots! Y'all smoke, y'all going to go to hell! No, God don't want that. He wants someone that says, Hey, look at me. I live in a Christian life. I'm doing this. I'm going to school. And then you reach them that way. But if you stand up here and scream at people, you scream at people. That's wrong. I'm throwing that rope. I'm throwing that rope. I'm throwing that rope. Receive a relaxing life. 